peace. Let me continue on behalf of our German delegation. Dear friends, dear crowds that you have arrived in such great numbers, the human mind can set mountains apart. I believe in the force of the human spirit. I want to pass this on. Never give up if you are convinced of anything. Properly speaking, the first uh, on our list should have been Prime Minister Rama of Albania and also a representative uh, who lives today in Tirana or several representatives of Tirana because in this world of terrorism, We've never had so many wars at one time. The biggest mass migration, coercive migration in this world. And here it happens. A country that needs more resources itself takes in so many human beings. So you see, there are people who do not ask whether something is to their benefit or not. They just accept people because they are in dire need. For the very first time, we have seen in Tirana that our men and women had for the first time that they can sleep in safety. There are no crew missiles, there will be no rude attacks on them. And I must say, we feel a deep gratitude to those uh, small communities of people, a small country that finally does the right thing to those in need. I can only tell you, dear Ashrafis, that uh, you have called you, your home Ashraf yourself. You live in liberty. Now, it was not in vain that you suffered so much. And all those who we have lost can say, yes, we have taken a step forward. Thank you. And let me also tell you, you have a female leader, Madame Rashavi. But it's rather unusual. As of now, the men think they are best qualified to govern us. But let me tell you, this is a lady with an attitude. She defends people. She leads them. She will continue to lead them because uh, the assumption that democracy can succeed without leadership, that would be a mistake. It's about participation and involvement of the citizens. And what does she do? She spreads the light of enlightenment. Every human being has fundamental rights. Religion and political power need to be separated. That she hopes for this day that Muslims, Christians, and Jews, in whatever form, may live in peace together. She is committed to a peaceful liberation of Iran, and we should pursue that path wherever we are. Because, let's face it, yes, we have an ever-increasing amount of weaponry. We are increasing our armaments, but we have not increased peace through weapons. Allah, God, would ask us, you have not become wiser than in the past? Well, we are not yet wise, but we will be wiser. I must say, I admire this woman. I think it is so good to see that a Muslim woman ventures to say, let's face it, we are human beings equipped with equal rights. We have reason and we have a heart, and we will fight with these two things. Please continue your fight in a world full of injustice. I am convinced, very much like it succeeded in Poland with Solidarność, 
as it happened in other countries and is going to happen in other countries, we are seeing similar things going on in Africa and even in the Near and Middle East. And I can tell you, we will overcome, provided we stand together and fight together for a better world. That's what we wish ourselves.